Welcome back to our third edition of the 920 News Network, or the N20NN, as some refer to us as. Our apologies on our absence over the past few weeks, however, we are having technical difficulties. These technical difficulties coming from the fact that I did not have a camera charger to charge my batteries. See, trying to be the best son that I could, I let my dad borrow my camera while he went to Mexico a couple months ago, and then he forgot my charger in Mexico. Long story short, it has been returned and I now have the same camera charger and can make these wonderful videos for you. Alright, this is what you need to know coming up this week. Open Door is posting weekly sermons on YouTube every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. I think that I speak for all of us when I say, last week was a giant step forward in the right direction. As well, there is a new feature that we implemented last week, which I thought was excellent, and it is that when you watch are watching the videos on YouTube, you can interact with other members from Open Door in the online chat feature. Harvey Katz will be there to answer any doctrinal questions that you may have. If you'd like to be an eager beaver, you can also join the Zoom meeting happening at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday for pre-service prayer before the, or sorry, 10.30, my apologies, 10.30 before the sermon is posted. 9.20 also goes live every Friday evening at 7.30 for virtual 9.20 youth. It's a great time. The past few weeks have been absolutely riveting and we have something special coming up for you again this week. This week after we are done with the content, we will be trying something new and going into small groups. That's right, we will be trying small groups via Zoom. Your small group leader will be in touch with you to let you know how that's gonna unfold. In other news, last week we had Michelle and Moshe come and join us on 920, or for a 920 Live event, hosted by our very own Meckley. Meckley, I speak for us all when I say you did a wonderful job, and so good in fact, that we here at the 920 News Network are willing to offer you a full-time position as a co-anchor. Contact us, and we'll let you know further details if you are interested. We also found out that Moshe was in a punk slash emo rock band for a little bit in his youth. While he didn't go into great detail, I like to think of Moshe's going through that season kind of like this. And while he didn't tell us exactly what the band name was, one can only speculate. What do you think it was? Hmm, I wonder. Speaking of music, during this time where we may find that we have more time on our hands than usual, we here at the 920 News Network find it imperative to remind you to be intentional about what you are watching and what you are listening to. One of the greatest composers of all time, Johann Sebastian Bach, said this about music and I think that he encapsulates it wonderfully. He said, music is an agreeable harmony for the honor of God and the permissible delights of the soul. I, upon reflection, am in no way entitled to speak or qualified on the topic of music, seeing as this is the extent of my musical ability. However, we were able to secure someone who could talk to us briefly in and amongst his busy schedule about worship and music. We now take you to the first edition of Marty's Musical Moment. Good day, everybody. My name's Marty. This is Marty's Musical Moment. And I'm supposed to talk to you about some good worship songs to listen to. I love worship. Uh, there's a real anointing on me to do worship. You can tell I, I am a worship leader. You can tell that because of uh, I'm wearing two necklaces. I also have on a black v-neck. Uh, I have on black skinny jeans right here. And I also have a beanie. My beanie's right there. All of this lets you know that I am a worship leader. All right, two great songs I'd recommend to you. Number one is by Hillsong. It's called Graves in the Gardens. And the second one is uh, from the West Coast, and it is called Egypt by Corey Asbury. 
two really great worship songs that you should listen to this week. And uh, stay tuned because there's going to be more Marty's Musical Corner coming your way. Thank you very much. That was Marty from Marty, Marty's Musical Corner. And he is the newest addition to the 920 News Network. There will be more content from him soon to come. 920, that's all we have for you today, this Wednesday, April the 29th. My name is Chase Wade. Thank you for joining us. And as always, good night and good evening.